Hi viewers, welcome to our channel. In this video, we'll discuss about the main difference between AAC blocks and red bricks. In this video, we shortlisted 10 main characteristics. These both are different. And after this video, you will be able to choose the best material for your construction of any house or any structure. Let me introduce myself. My name is Vinay. And if you are visiting my channel for the first time, don't forget to subscribe my channel. Also, click the bell icon. Let's start our video. Compressive strength. Strength is defined as capacity to resist force or any pressure. For AAC blocks, the compressive strength is varies between 3 to 4.5 Newton per mm square. And for red bricks or clay bricks, the compressive strength varies between 2.5 to 3.5 Newton per mm square. Next, size variability in the market. AC blocks are available in various sizes. It may vary slightly depending on the manufacturer. And red bricks or clay bricks are available in standard modular size or standard non modular size. And these sizes are more popular across India. Dry density AAC blocks. Dry density of AAC blocks varies from 451 kg per meter cube to 1000 kg per meter cube. So, this property of low dry density of AAC blocks reduce the load on the foundation and other structural components in structure leading to 55% reduction in weight of walls. Because of the reduction in self weight, AAC block construction attracts less earthquake load. So if you are in the earthquake prone area, so prefer AAC blocks. Red bricks or clay bricks. Dry density of red clay bricks varies from 1600 kg per meter cube to 1920 kg per meter cube. Next, weight variation, AAC blocks. Generally, the weight of AAC blocks varies from 3 to 4 kgs, and whereas in the red clay bricks, it is varies from 2.5 to 7.5 kg. Next, fire resistant AAC blocks. According to Portland Cement Association, fire resistant of AAC block is excellent, with the 8 inch AAC achieving a 4 hour rating. Also, it is non combustible material and will not burn or give off toxic fumes. Red bricks or clay bricks, 8 inch thick wall can resist fire up to 2 hours. So you can compare AAC blocks are more fire resistant than clay bricks. Next, thermal conductivity. The amount of heat transfer from a specific material is called its thermal conductivity. AAC blocks. The thermal conductivity of AAC blocks varies from 0.21 to 0.42 watt per meter per kelvin. So thermal conductivity of block is lower and hence less heat transfer happens from block. AC blocks are made up of fly ash and fly ash has low thermal conductivity compared to natural clay which results in more thermal resistant blocks. For red bricks or clay bricks 6 to 1.0 watt per meter per kelvin. So thermal conductivity of brick is high and hence heat transfer from brick is more than AAC block sound insulation or noise transmission. AAC block has good sound transmission property due to presence of air voids. 40 to 45 decibel sound is reduced by 200 mm thick wall. That lightweight also gives a high sound reduction for privacy both from outside noises and from other rooms when used as interior partition walls. For red bricks or clay bricks, the brick masonry wall has good sound insulation property due to its dense structure. 150mm wall reduces the sound by 45 decibels and 50 decibels by 230mm wall. So both are good sound insulators but not that much. Next, Thermite Resistant AAC Blocks AAC Blocks are insect resistant, inorganic and solid wall construction material. AAC Blocks do not allow spreading of termites and pests and hence increase the life of the wall. Red Bricks or Clay Bricks Red bricks are not termite resistant as they are made from clay, cheese and organic material so pests or termites will attack the bricks. Next, Earthquake resistant buildings AAC blocks Earthquake forces are proportional to weight of the building. Since AAC blocks reduce the weight of the building, the safety against earthquakes is more. Red bricks or clay bricks Red bricks are not preferred in earthquake prone regions. Cost of construction 
this data is taken from a website pravinbuildtech.com and you can see in the table the volume cost is more for AAC but the motor cost and plaster cost and structural cost will be less and will be saved in the AAC so overall 40% will be saved in the project cost so it is a good deal to construct large houses or big structures with AAC blocks you can see this is for G plus 5 structure Q and A's which material is best for construction of houses you can use the both materials but if you are looking for efficiency and cost go for AAC blocks next question in manually constructed house AC blocks are used from ground floor to the last. Now cracks are developing in walls. Why and what to do now? So one of the reasons for cracks is strength of the blocks. Means which should be minimum for MPA. The other reasons may be placing of blocks in masonry before 48 hours of drying down after removing from autoclave. The remedy for this is after the total shrinkage fill the gaps with the grout or cement. So this is the end of the video and if you have any doubts you can comment below or you can message me on Instagram. My Instagram ID is Civilogy and thank you for watching the video. And if you like our video, please give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Also click the bell icon. See you in the next video. Thank you.